After the 2008 flood wreaked havoc on the University of Iowa, sustainability became a major concern and the Office of Sustainability was formed. Here are some of the ways they are working to increase sustainability today. My name is Liz Christensen and I'm the director of the University of Iowa Office of Sustainability. I took on this position in December 2008 and uh, we're working on the University of Iowa 2020 sustainability targets which have to do with energy conservation and reduction, um, renewable energy, uh, reducing waste from landfilling, student success, efficient transportation. We're really the only uh, university in Iowa that has a set set of goals uh, to work on. Um, and I think that's really helped focus our work in sustainability. We could be working on many, many different things. After all, sustainability is a very large umbrella and a lot of things fall under that. But we've really chosen to focus on the things that really have an impact on our carbon footprint and have an impact on student success as well. City of Iowa City has joined the movement on increasing sustainability in the area. In October of 2016, the city passed the multifamily recycling mandate. So the city's been talking about, the city and the community have been talking about recycling in multifamily apartments for a long time. And the way it's set up until previous, or until recently, um, the city provided recycling for single family homes up through fourplex apartments, which is about 15,000 households or about 55% of the population. So that leaves another 12,000 households that did not have access to recycling where they lived. But the city has drop-off sites that people are encouraged to use, but it's still, it's, it's so much more of a burden to have to take your recycling somewhere other than just out to your curb. So um, this has been a project we've been working on really, really strongly for about four years. We did a pilot project in 2012 and found out that the cost of the recycling is, is pretty reasonable. It's about $3 a month per unit, um, that the service is available through local haulers, that it's, it's really the contamination levels. It's going to take some education to get people recycling and keep them recycling well, but it's very doable. So um, over the course of the last few years, since we've completed the project, we've been talking to apartments and landlords, apartment owners and landlords, and there's been a huge push from the student government on the University of Iowa campus as well to help get things moving along. So um, we took the, the initiative to council in October and November, and they supported it wholeheartedly, and um, apartment recycling will now be required in order for apartments and landlords to get rental permits. Sustainability has been important to Iowa City for a long time, and there's been a big push by the community in recent years to really kind of bring stuff to the forefront. So I think it's really cool that that residents are, are demanding these services, because the city staff's been pushing for a lot of these for a long time as well. Local nonprofits in the area team up with the University of Iowa and the City of Iowa City to help maintain sustainability. Such an example can be seen in the Habitat for Humanity Restore, where locals have the option to buy recycled furniture, appliances, home accessories, and building materials for a fraction of retail price. Help from governments, businesses, and organizations like these are helping to improve sustainability in Iowa City and around the world.